Hello everyone, we are group 2. I am Eleanor Valencia and today I am going to show you how to write each standard equation of a parabola in a general form. Okay, our example number 1 is x squared equals to 2 times quantity x plus 4. The equation is written as quantity x minus h squared equals 4a times quantity y minus k. Our vertex is 0 and negative 4. To get the general form, we're going to multiply 2 to x plus 4. Now the answer is x squared is equals to 2x plus 8. Then we're going to move 2x plus 8 to the side of our x squared. The general form of our equation will be x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. For our example number 2, y squared equals to 1 third times quantity x minus 4. The equation is written as quantity y minus k squared equals 4a times quantity x minus h. Our vertex will be 4 and 0. Again, to get the general form, we're going to multiply 1 third to quantity x minus 4. It will become y squared equals 1 over 3x minus 4 over 3. Then we're going to move 1 over 3x minus 4 over 3 to the side of y squared. And the answer will be y squared minus 1 over 3x plus 4 over 3 equals 0. For our third example, quantity y minus 2 squared equals 4 times quantity x plus 1. The equation is written as quantity y minus k squared equals 4a times quantity x minus h. Our vertex is negative 1 and 2. To get the general form, we're going to multiply y by itself, y to negative 2 times 2, and negative 2 by itself, then 4 times quantity x plus 1. The answer is y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 4x plus 4. Then we're going to move 4x plus 4 to the other side. The answer will be y squared minus 4x minus 4y plus 4 minus 4 equals 0. Then simplify the answers. Now our answer is y squared minus 4x minus 4y equals to 0. For our last example, quantity x plus 4 squared equals quantity x minus 2. The equation is written as quantity x minus h equals 4a times quantity y minus k. Again, to get the general form, we're going to multiply x by itself, x to positive 4 times 2, and 4 by itself. The answer will be x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals x minus 2. Then move x minus 2 to the other side. It will become x squared minus x plus 8x plus 16 minus 2 equals 0. Then simplify to get the answer. Our final answer will be x squared minus 7x plus 14 equals 0.